Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Julie Mann and I show people how they can live healthy, happy, sustainable lives by changing their habits and using cutting edge products to help them age well. Today I'm delighted because I'm joined by Daisy Robinson and if you don't know her already she's actually a photographer specializing in, that was difficult to say, specializing in brand photography and I think Daisy you're going to be talking about good brand habits aren't you? Oh yes, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm living for today. The good brand habits. Perfect. So I'll hand straight over to you. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me on today, Julie. It's uh, great to be here to be able to talk about brand, which is my passion. So I'm Daisy and my business is Robinson Road Photography, where I'm a visual storyteller for the wildly ambitious. So I'm a personal brand specialist helping businesses with their marketing and their visual content creation. Now, I help my clients feel more confident about their branding and I save them time, money and stress. So if you're a business owner who wants more clients, uh, maybe you want more of the right clients, maybe you want more visibility, more eyes checking out your product or service, or maybe you want to stand out from your competition, or maybe you want to feel more confident about your marketing, perhaps more in control, or maybe you want to feel professional and proud of your marketing materials and your online presence. Well, creating a good personal brand and good personal brand habits can really, really help you. Now, we all know that people buy from people. And the best way to attract new clients is to allow them to get to know, like and trust you. And that's why personal branding is more than just a headshot. It's everything about you and your business that will tell your story, grow your business and elevate your brand. So I've got three habits to share with you today. Uh, the first habit is about strengthening your brand on social media. Now, we know that first impressions, they, they happen in the blink of an eye, whether it's face to face or over social media people will really quickly and easily form an opinion about you based on what they see. Now, the reality is that social media plays a major role in how people perceive us online, even more so when you're trying to build or run a business. If you wanna make sure that social media doesn't damage your personal brand, I've got a few guidelines, a few habits that you can follow. Now, the first one is to reserve your handles and domains. So even if you aren't using social media platforms just yet, or perhaps you're not using all of them just yet, it's best to reserve your handles as soon as you can. And the same goes for your domain. So if you're just getting started on social media, try and have the same handle or at least really similar handles across all your platforms. The next thing you want to do is perfect your bio. Because an inconsistent bio, it's not going to do your personal brand any favors. The best thing you can do is to turn your elevator pitch into a bio and ensure that you're using that same bio across all of your platforms. Then what you want to be doing is choosing your visuals really wisely. So having a professional brand photography session so that you can have a bank of images to choose from and use that will gonna save you time and it's gonna ensure that you strengthen your brand across all of your social media platforms. Because striking professional and onboard photograph, on brand photographs are really gonna create a good and lasting first impression. Remember we talked about first impressions. They're gonna create that across all of your social media. The next thing you wanna do is think twice about your content. So be selective about the content and the social media posts that you publish. Everything, we have to remember that everything we post online has the potential to be stuck online forever, which means it will forever be associated with your personal brand. So consider the words as well as the images that you're using. Are they a true representation of your personal brand? And then what you wanna do is be consistent. So if you want to market your personal brand online, consistency is really, really key. You can't post something just whenever the mood strikes, um, not if you want to build trust and a sound reputation. So it's really important to have a social media strategy. 
You want to plan your social media posts and your blog posts so that your audience is hearing from you on a really regular basis. It's also important to keep an eye on comments and to engage with your audience in a really meaningful way. Social media can be a really powerful branding tool, but only if you're committed to keeping your profiles updated and staying consistent and engaged. Okay, now we're on to habit number two. This is the importance of your story. We all know people buy from people. Your ideal client wants to get to know you, like you, and trust you before they choose to buy from you. Your story, why you do what you do and what led you to this point, your personal challenges and how you overcame them, these are all elements of your personal brand that are really, really important to show. You want to create a strong personal connection with your audience by telling them your story, so take a moment to write down who you are, why you do what you do, and what you have to offer your potential clients. Building your personal brand isn't about putting on a new personality. It is about sharing the things that make you uniquely you in a really calculated and beautiful way. So it's about being you in an authentic way, and that's going to attract your ideal clients to you. They'll choose you because they like what they see and they feel that you're the right person for them. So that's really, really important. And on to habit number three, which is all about marketing your brand. It's really easy to get wrapped up in getting good results for your clients when you first start a business. But this often means that entrepreneurs and business owners let aspects such as their brand fall by the wayside. So in order for customers to want to do business with you and recommend you to others, they need to feel really connected to you, which is where personal branding comes in. If you want your brand to thrive, let's go through some marketing habits that you can start using today to grow your business. The first one is to get yourself out there. If you want people to do business with you, you need to show them who you are, and you need to be the face of your brand. So don't be hiding behind a logo or a statement. In an age where consumers are bombarded with advertising, entrepreneurs and business owners need to give people a reason to trust them. Having your brand photographs taken by a professional photographer who we've mentioned earlier, who specializes in personal brand photography can really make an impact. And I would also really urge you to consider using video and going live on social media much more often. Very much like we're doing today. Next, I would say build your network. So to grow your personal brand, you're going to need to keep making connections and nurturing your relationships with customers and your potential customers. Now, the internet, it makes it so easy to avoid face-to-face -face interactions, but they're still really important in order to create genuine connections. So remember to grow and build your network both online and offline. The next thing you want to do, as we said, grow that online presence. So it's no secret that we live in a world of technology and instant gratification. Customers can find almost any information they want within a matter of minutes. But if you want your personal brand to thrive, it's important for you to create a digital footprint. And that's going to ensure more people are finding you online more often. It's also a really good idea to review which platforms you're currently on, as we talked about at the beginning. And these are the places that your ideal client can be found, whether you are missing out on any, or making sure that you are not missing out on any key opportunities. So you want to choose a platform, you want to choose your pillar and you want to grow that, but don't neglect the others. And lastly, I'm going to say again, do lives and videos. OK, so your ideal client, they need to get to know you, to like you and to trust you before they do business with you. So get behind the camera, feel the fear and do it anyway. OK, because your ideal client will love you no matter how you trip over your words or what your hair looks like. They're looking for the real you, warts and all, so show it, okay? You are capable of amazing things with your business and your brand. 
So you need to believe in yourself and know that you can do it. It just takes some action and some work on your part and the right visuals to market and promote yourself. So get yourself over to my Facebook and Instagram pages, Robinson Road Brand Photography, for more information on how to grow your business. And I'll see you there. I am not just your brand photography expert. I'm here to help you create the brand and business of your dreams. So that's Daisy Robinson, Robinson Road Brand Photography. Thank you so much, Julie. Oh my goodness, Daisy, there was so much in that. I'm going to have to go back and re-watch that. I couldn't believe how many fantastic tips and habits you were sharing. I loved actually that you talked about the story because there's that saying, isn't there? Um, that facts tell, stories sell. I mean, it's all about the story, isn't it? And why are you doing the thing that you're doing? So I absolutely love that. So like Daisy says, go and check her out. But actually all her links will be below this video. So you know, click on them and, and uh, maybe send her a question, um, engage. And obviously my link will be there as well. So thank you ever so much, Daisy. I really appreciate your you. your wonderful, wonderful, inspirational um, uh, offerings. And, <laughs> um, and I really appreciate all of you for watching. And actually what you said, Daisy, about um, just being real, that's one of the things about this channel, if you haven't already noticed, is that I don't edit anything. This is it. So Daisy, thank you so much again. Thanks, Julie. <laughs>